Football has proven, like many other sports, that not all players can translate that level of success to the sidelines. Both Eve and the Jones were successful in their own right as players. With Eve, this country's most cap player, with 117 caps and 34 goals, while he was one of the players who played and coached in the local pro league with varying levels of success. Eve, who was one of the most successful coaches in the secondary school league, in June was appointed head coach of the senior men's national football team that had just come off a disastrous World Cup campaign. The Carinage native managed to change the fortunes of the team in just over a month's time, leading them to the group stages of the CONCACAF Gold Cup, a team that had many of the same players from the World Cup campaign found pride in playing for a coach that mentored many in the squad as youth players, with a set goal of bringing pride back to a national team that was only the second English-speaking Caribbean nation to qualify for a World Cup. Jones had a successful playing career that took him to Europe, the Middle East and North America, that saw him amass 91 caps and 23 goals, as well as being the youngest member of a historic 2006 World Cup team. Having hung up his boots to pursue his coaching badges, the former striker took over the national women's team on a short notice and managed to get the best out of the women's team that had not played for two years, running unbeaten in two recent friendlies. Though the sample size may be small for both former national players, the feedback from their players have been positive. This bodes well for the national teams that have played under some difficult circumstances that came about mainly from problems off the field of play. Time will tell, but from the positive start both coaches have had in their tenure, maybe we can change the narrative that not all good players make good coaches. Or does it have to do with one word, respect? Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.